Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be swatching these soft pastels that I got from the National Trust last time I was there. It's the first time I've used soft pastels in a long time, um, since I was a child, I think, and um, I just wanted to um, give them a go and see how they swatch. I did do a video previously um, why I had swatched these out but um, I was having a lot of difficulty with my mic which I will discuss in a minute um, so this is the second attempt at um, recording this mm. um, just looking at how they look Yeah. What I'll do in another video is um, I will draw and colour in Lala from Little Twin Stars. So I think I'll start from the bottom. These um, don't have any names, so um, yeah, I'll have nothing to uh, put. Um, sorry, I just left to get a, a cloth because um, the the pastels. They get all over your fingers <laughs> and uh, I didn't want to contaminate the uh, the other colours of some sort of thing. So these have a very chalky consistency. Because these um, do have a, a very chalky, dusty texture. And um, as you can see, they don't um, tend to use a spread that much. They've also got... Um, I'll show you in this next one. I want to place, uh, place it down here like this 
it retains, um, it has a, it's a little uh, texture and it doesn't tend to smooth out um, consistently it sort of keeps the original way or the shape that it was laid down in which um, depending on know what it is that you're drawing that that could be a good thing or a bad thing I think if you were using this for uh, landscapes and um, things like that it, it would probably be quite good to give you the texture that you need I do really love the colours I think they are really vibrant um, and really fun this um, lemon yellow is just so vivid and uh, Yeah, there's some really nice, almost um, pastel type colours. This purple blue here is a really nice colour. And this sky blue as well is very cute. And I also like the vibrancy of this um, pink and purple. Yeah, it's very sweet. What I'll do is I will um, test them um, with with mixing with one another. Um, I had a lot of difficulty with this in the last video, um, so um, I mean it might be the same, but I'm hoping it'll be a bit better. This is a lovely, lovely green. It's so pretty. This green here is um, like a Viridian type green or an emerald green. It doesn't spread very well though. So, um, the first um, uh, time that I did this swatching, um, I was using uh, my old mic. This is a lovely blue, look at this. It's almost turquoise. So, the issue with my old mic was um, it um, kept producing a sort of weird knocking sound and um, I just, I couldn't figure out what was causing it and it was very frustrating and it was affecting all of my recordings and um, I, I could not find out what was causing the problem I, t I tried everything honestly um, so in the last set of um, might have been three or four videos um, yeah you probably notice that the editing's a bit um, all over the place um, I had to just um, cut out large uh, sections of um, you know me talking 
volcano. I had to mute down the sounds of, um, you know, the scratches and, um, you know, tapping. Because, um, that knocking sound was just, it was affecting everything. And I, I couldn't do anything about it. So I just did my best to um, edit the sound out as much as I could. But when I made um, the first of this, um, the first version of this video, um, it was just so bad. I it was on it, it was everywhere. I just couldn't get rid of the sound. It happened when I spoke, it, it was just constant, I wasn't really sure what was causing it. Um, so, for my birthday, um, I got uh, this new mic, and it's so much nicer. I can hear the sound quality a lot better, and um, it's also got binaural, um, which I just think is such a cool thing to have. I've always wanted to do um, videos where I talk in each ear. Um, so um, I'm really looking forward to using this in the future. And um, it also has um, the ability to um, pick up the sounds um, in front of it, so while I'm talking in the mic, and also um, it can record sounds um, behind it as well. So it's um, quite good for picking up um, sounds um, from when I'm painting or crafting things. So there were some really, really nice sounds in, um, I think especially the, um, um, being puppy cat themed box that I decorated. Um, yeah, I really loved all the sounds in that, but, um, yeah, my mic was just not, not the best. So I'm very happy. Oh, oops. <laughs> I'm just getting more in it. Um, yeah, you can't obviously see the white here, but um, yeah, it's a bit contaminated as well. these a little bit closer so you can see them and how they've um, um, spread out on the page. This um, paper is incredibly smooth, it's very um, flat. <laughs> um, so yes, I don't think there's going to be um, a lot a lot of texture there. I just love, I love the colours, they really are so pretty. So, down here I'm going to um, mix some of the colours for um, when I draw Lala. I have the little twin stars um, 
book that I'm using as a reference and in the previous video I drew Kiki and coloured him in with oil pastels and uh, that was a bit disastrous <laughs> um, and uh, I know we're going to have the same sort of difficulty with um, Lala here so yeah, fingers crossed <laughs> Um, I'll just plop this here and um, I think I'm going to pick this red here and um, I'll mix that with some um, This um, it's actually a lot smoother than how I experienced it last time, so I'm quite happy with that. And um, I'm just going to add the tiniest bit of um, this pink. spot on there. Yeah, that's pretty close. Mm, maybe a little bit lighter, a little bit duller, but um, yeah, I think that's it. And uh, now I'm going to do her dress, which um, is a slightly pinker colour. So, I'm just going to um, go in with a little bit more, more pink, I think. I do think with um, um, pastels, especially the chalk ones, um, you really need to sort of stick with the with um, the colour no, on the actual pastel. I don't think you can really do too much um, mixing. It doesn't really work in um, the same way you know watercolours would work. You know, we try anyway. Because you can see here that the white, you know, stays on the page. And um, you can still see it, even though you're, you know, mixing on top of it. Like, that's, that's not going anywhere. That is there. Some um, slightly pinker. Does need to be a lot lighter though. Yeah, that's it. That's the colour. And um, for the face, I'm thinking. Um, But it needs to be very, very, very light. So, um, oh, I'll, I'll put a 
ya and um, is this color here this little flower um, and scraped off some of the um, dust onto the petals and I just wanted to see um, if I could achieve this colour um, uh, but um, keep it precise as well so here goes nothing. <laughs> um, I think I'll just have to be very gentle. Um, I mean, it's it's working in in some sense. Uh, I wouldn't say it's particularly accurate. I see, there's a lot of dust, and um, I'm just sort of having to use my finger here. Um, it's a lot of dust. I maybe put too much dust in. Uh, hmm. This is so close. Interesting. Um, I, I, you know, 
not, I think this might actually work. Well, apart from that bit. <laughs> um, I'm just going to use this um, green for the leaf. And uh, I'll show you what I did. I quite literally was just, just plopping a little bit on there. I, I think you only need a very little bit. And um, uh, I might give it slightly more olive um, tip. Okay, so. is actually a lot better than <laughs> how it went the first time around. Um, I actually think this might be a way to get a really nice smooth consistency. The only thing is, is it will, hmm, it will go around the edges here. I'm just going to um, blow the dust away. So, um, yeah, it's not um, within the lines at all, but it is smooth and it blends a lot, a lot better, much, much better. So let me just um, finish this off with a pretty yellow. To sort of blend with everything that's already there as well. What I'm going to do is um, draw, draw Lala, and uh, I'll use this technique, but um, I might. Works really well. That works really well. So I could do the stencils in layers. So you just have like a base layer first, and um, then add layers on top. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> So I will um, stop here and uh, I'll um, draw Lala in the next video and um, colour her in with these, these chalk pastels. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope the new mic is better and uh, it's a lot more soothing. And yes, I will. Um, Thanks.
as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.